I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the Prime Science and Research Facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocar, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow.
Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. <coughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Access denied.
Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. Responding, I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Petruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of the S that I would file a report with central authority over this.
Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies, or would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and appealed itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. Yes, granted.